hi guys welcome to my youtube channel i am jim beatrice if i am a gym i really miss you guys but i'm back and thank you for all of you that have been leaving me comments and giving me topics to work on and i promise you i'm going to be dealing with those topics one after the other today i want to talk to us about the importance of family the COVID-19 virus has taught us many things. Amongst our one, the importance of family. Two, the difference between reality and fiction. Three, the possibility to achieve climate change. Four, the importance of life and living over money. Five, the innocence and ingenuity of children. But today I'm just gonna do number one and two together. The importance of family and the difference between reality and fiction. Our wrong assumptions of family were deeply exposed during the lockdown. In some countries, it was time for cheating spouses to realize that the way you make your bed is the way you will actually lie on it. If your main purpose to marry is to get a woman that will respect you and serve you, you will end up just having that or you might end up being a woman bitter rather than being having a home where you have real partnership. So finally, you will end up being this man that floats in your home and then jumping from one woman's bed to the other looking for real friendship and real partnership that is just a fiction, not a reality because it doesn't exist outside there. That can only exist in your home. Your best friend, your confidence should be your partner at home. In some other countries, it was time people realized that um, a place where sh you should invest your strength and your emotion is actually at home into your kids and your spouse not at work or your career or friends or your business because it's actually what happens especially in the western country um what really happened is people invest all their emotions and all their strength for in, in friends in their career in their business and they neglect their kids and the spouses at home i couldn't believe how hard it was for people to stay at home with their families. People were so scared to be locked down at home with their kids and their wives and husbands and their elderly parents at home. Um, this actually that was I observed in the Western country, whereas in you know third world countries, especially like Africa, where you have husbands always cheating on their wives and wives cheating on their husbands, it was quite difficult for them to stay at home together because that emotion and connection weren't there. They were connected with different people outside home. And all these were because we have these fictitious assumptions about families. We have this fictitious family that we leave up to the society to tell us how good our families are or how bad our families are. So these are just mere assumptions. It's not the society that's supposed to say, oh, they're a good family or oh, oh, they're a bad family. The families, when they're good, they know. When they're bad, they know. It's not even up to your parents or your extended family to say that family. Is a good family when you are in a good family you feel at home you know in that family all these are due to assumptions that the wrong assumptions that we have about families the assumptions that one marriage is where you make money give to the woman to cook and look after the children for you or two, the marriage is a partnership for tax purposes. Or three, the marriage is a financial security for especially women and a place to secure future home, future house, not really home, future house, future accommodation, and a place to be part of family meetings, 
functions occasions and go to weddings for your you know with your husbands and wives so these assumed fictitious families have become all these to people i could not just believe the fear that people had to stay at home with their spouses and their kids during the lockdown now marriage is not a fiction marriage is not even a word of glamour either to show people you have arrived marriage is one where two adults become best friends confidence and life support to each other marriage too is an institution that builds a shelter and a home for children marriage number three is we are both the children and the spouse uphold each other encourage each other and instill values in each other family is a place of shelter a place of joy security and love marriage and family is where you make mistakes science call it errors religion call it sin the court will call it crime. You do all this in a home. Confess to each other. Blame one another. Cover each other's mistakes and uphold each other to become better people in life. A home is a place where there, is, there shouldn't be a secret. A home is a place of security. A man should be secured in his home. Men love peace. Men love some time to be quiet on their own and just do nothing. And they should have that freedom to just have that at home without anybody, you know, interfering or asking them too much questions. Now, women talk a lot, but sometimes just give the man a break to be him. If he wants to chat away with his friends, if your husband is secured in your home, he wouldn't be going outside to look for women. Women, on the other hand, love maximum security in their home. A home for women should be a place where if attack comes from outside, which usually do come from in-laws, sisters of the man, yeah, the sister-in-laws and friends and, you know, strangers, the man is like a bullet, a shield. The man is like the walls of the house that shoots the woman that take the bullets and give the woman this maximum protection. So if a woman does not see have that protection in the man, she will be looking outside. If a woman loves to talk, men like to have their quiet time, so women should give it to them. But at the same time, women love to be hard. Women love to tell you their little secrets, to tell you stories of what happened. Then you should give them this listening ears. If you don't give your wife listening ears, she is bound to have confidence outside. Either in form of girlfriends, their girlfriends might be their best friend instead of you. Or they may be cheating on you because there could be a man there that listening to all their trash. Now, the children also should trust and know and believe adults in their homes and be fully part of that home children also like to be heard and be part of the home so it's very important to listen to children speak in their own language what they understand what their friends do to them when they are bullied aside they need listening parents that they can come back home and say oh this person did this without you literally giving out to them all the time or shutting them up i feel guilty sometimes i do shut my kids out but once in a while i relax and i allow them talk i ask them questions what happened in school what happened with this your friend is this your friend and how is their home and where do people go when you go out what do you, what do you people talk about so children also like to be listened to and they should be able to confide in you when they tell you stories even their stories of shame of 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 you know the inconfidence in them so a lack of confidence in them sorry so if we get it right 
at home as individuals. We will get it right in the society at large. If all this are lacking in your home, you should ask yourself again, what are you doing in that home? And is this really a home or a shop? Thank you. My name is Jim Beatrice Ifani Jim. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Sorry for more educating videos and if you find this interesting, just click share to your friends. Please do share to your friends and follow me on my social media channels on Jim Beatrice a gym and leave comments let me know the topics you want me to cover i am jane beatrice ifani a gym thank you